Hello again, it's Lock Noob, and yeah, I've been out making pins again. I have, and I'm quite proud of these ones, I'll be honest. They're not maybe the absolute most complex in terms of what I've tried to make in the past, but I think that they, what they might lack in a, a bit of complexity, they they do have, um, I think, something going on in terms of detail and finish. I'm really quite proud of these. So this is um, a set of pins which I'm going to make a, a lock out of and I'm going to call this one in the firing line or the firing line probably just the firing line actually and hopefully they are relatively self-explanatory okay so I'll we'll go into each one and show you the detailing on all of them in a second but there's a bit of provenance in these so I don't really uh, like getting sort of bombarded with ideas in terms of um, uh, pins and things. I like to think of them myself. Uh, I think a lot of people are like that. However, um, there's a moderator on the UK Lock Sport Forum called Baldy Locks, and uh, he doesn't, you know, uh, contact me very often. But he did, and he said uh, a, a few of us are into sort of um, sports shooting and air rifles and things. Bear in mind, we're in the UK, so, you know, um, gun ownership is uh, relatively taboo here, and... Um, uh, and and you know it's, it's rare and there's but there's, you know it's, it's still interest like there is all over the world I guess and he said um, have you thought about making some pins along the lines of sort of bullets and um, pellets and I said you know what that's actually a good idea I will um, get my designing cap on and I'll, I'll do some design work so um, I did a rough um, sort of quick prototype of, of a design um, uh, just while it's in my head and, and you'll hopefully see that on screen as I'm talking and then I, um, I, I left it for a couple of months it was probably before Christmas uh, 2017 and now it's uh, you know March 2018 and I thought to myself well um, now's the time let's get making so here we are the firing line and this is that original idea from uh, Baldy Locks uh, realised. Um, obviously, I have chosen a uh, sort of a, a bullet, um, you know, a shell, um, a, a slug kind of um, theme here. And uh, obviously, I've got plenty of references on uh, Google to go by. But I also have, um, and I have, this is actually a key ring, would you believe, from when I was about 12, and I'm many times older than that now. Um, not many, many times, but you know, quite a lot older than that now. And you'll see that um, this is from, I think it was like from a, an army surplus store, and these are all fired. So you see the the, uh, the primers here, the primer charges have all been fired. You see the indentation of the firing pin. Um, and, you know, it's quite, quite nice to have a reference point like this because, you know, I can see that these cuts here are not... Um, so this is where they would slide uh, into... Uh, well, it could be anything, really, a, a, a clip, a chamber, when you're um, in, in a magazine, and all sorts of things. But this is how... Uh, this is the, the cutout on the bottom of the pin. And... I try to replicate even the shape of that, um, capturing the primers at the bottom of the bullets, uh, all the, the the shells, and um, here we go. So hopefully you'll see here. So forgive me if I get my gun terminology wrong. Um, I'm I'm not a, a a gun enthusiast to be perfectly honest with you, but um, I do like this as a concept. So let's start here with uh, this I chose as a 12 gauge shotgun round and hopefully you can see that um, we have obviously where the, the charge is at the bottom and then where all the shot and the wadding would be at the top just like in a, a shotgun shell and then at the bottom um, I've tried to sort of carve in uh, the primer charge at the bottom and this, I'm hoping, will act like, uh, well, if you put it this way up in the lock um, with the key pins here, this would act like a small spool. Turn it this way up, and it should hang up um, as sort of a, a mild T-pin, and this groove here should act like a serration. 
So there you go. So that's the shotgun shell. Then we have um, a a bullet with a um, well, I cut I cut a groove there, a sort of like the armor piercing tip. You also notice, uh, like on a real bullet, there's a taper at the bottom here as well. So, um, and that will act well like a either a T-pin this way up with a small serration, not too hard. This way up, I think it'd be more problematic because you'll actually end up with a tapered pin and those can be a real pain. Okay. This one, uh, again, is just a, a different version of the one you saw, but it's, um, it's not an arm piercing tip, it's just a normal sort of rifle um, round. I put a small groove at the bottom here just before it uh, tapers off as well or bevels depending on how you want to add that to an algae. And again uh, just a, a nice little object which should confuse picking. Then we've got this spent um, bullet. I don't know is this the, uh, the shell or the cartridge or the casing? Let's call it casing. So this is the casing, and this is an example of where, if I try to zoom in, can you see that I've tried to capture the shape of the um, of the the sort of the groove at the bottom of the bullet? So it's not a V shape, it's not flat, it's not square, it's not round. Uh, I wonder if I can show you a bit better if I can move the background up a bit more. There, maybe you can see that a little bit better. But um, yeah, I'll try to to capture the actual shape that it would be. Now, because this is a spent bullet, I have made a little indentation on the primer charge there, so you can see where the firing pin would have shot. And uh, given the size of this, I even tried to hollow out the tip because that's where, obviously, you know, uh, the bullet would be and all the powder. Okay. Next one, uh, I tried to model this on a nine mil round quite a short uh, snub, snubby one but again hopefully you'll see that uh, the way that this would work actually I didn't really talk about the way that I expect this to work so this would act like a uh, a very steep t-pin or a very um, harsh um, serration slash spool depending on which orientation you put it I like these because they have different feel depending on which way up you put them in the lock and I think that's um, gives really good value for money um, not that you can buy them but anyway you get the general idea and again, let's try to get the groove shape at the bottom of the the bullet. It's got the primer charge at the bottom. I try to make sure that there's a clear uh, delineation and size difference between the uh, the actual uh, bullet and the casing here. Um, so you can see that there's a, a step. So this should act, act, this should be relatively easy to set until it hits the um, the small sort of lip there, and it will act. Um, either as a, as like a, I don't know, a barrel pin of some kind, I imagine. Then this is actually just a variant, um, but I made this a uh, hollow point. There you go. Um, other than that, very similar primer charge at the bottom, act like a serration or a T-pin or a barrel pin, depending on which way you put it. And finally, and this isn't, is an air rifle, um, a pellet. I think they're called field points. And you see it's hollowed out at the bottom. Um, it has a, a deep serration here and actually uh, there's so much variety I didn't realise in um, air rifle pellets but uh, this is one that I found on um, on Google and I really really like the shape of it. I thought it would act quite nicely in the lock. If it gets trapped it, it might get trapped like um, an arrow pin um, like a deep spool, I think this would be, uh, then it's got serration here, I, re I reckon this could be a real pig to pick actually, um, especially, uh, so, you know, I, I like this one, so it's a field point air rifle round. Um, and that's it really, so this is um, firing line, my latest set of pins, um, inspiration, the idea came from Baldy Locks on the UK Locksport Forum, please go check out the forum, it's an amazing forum international it says UK lock sport but it's probably the best international forum there is and I really hope that you like the sort of detail that I put into these and my choice of rounds 
Um, I think that this will add some real variety in terms of picking. Um, I like the finish I managed to put on these. Um, you probably can't quite appreciate the, the size of them um, because they are really small. So it's, it took a lot of work. I actually had uh, more failures on these pins than I did on uh, the checker and chess pins, actually. Um, so there you go. Okay, so that's my introduction to Firing Line. Thank you all for watching. Thank you to Baldy Locks for the idea. I hope you like my design work on these and hopefully I'll put a video out of me putting them into a lock and picking them um, and giving you some ideas about what that feels like a bit later. Okay, thanks for watching. See you later. Bye.